Good morning everyone, it's Donna. So it's Saturday and I'm doing a quick garden tour update. So this is one of the flower beds up by the house and the snapdragons, I'll probably end up cutting them back or letting them get a seed and then cutting them back. But they'll put on another flush later. And I've cut back the pinks and the aster, which is... This guy right there is uh, starting to come up really good. Uh, the petunias are up. My zinnias that I threw the seeds out. That um, Hopefully these are the ones that I collected from last year. Uh, but they're coming up. I did trim back um, some of the perennials. There is a volunteer uh, sunflower. I'll do more sunflowers in a moment. Um... <laughs> this guy and some babies sprung up. I'm going to be harvesting some leaves to dry a little bit later. In case you don't know, this is a mullein and it is right by my house. I've got uh, one or two little um, Asiatic lilies back there. I don't know why this year they are so small. Um, I have some more uh, snapdragons that are starting to bloom. I put an ornamental grass up here because uh, it was dying. Hopefully it's going to come back. It's not in its forever spot. And then, let's see. We have some daylilies that are starting to come into bloom. Then that over there is about to burst in. My Stella Dioras are actually coming in quite good. My mint is fabulous. Now on to here. <laughs> I had some volunteered uh, sunflowers, as you can see. And this tall one right here had been about five foot six or so. And I guess a raccoon came in and ate it off one night or took it away with him. It wasn't even open yet, but it was getting close. And then late start. But these are my sweet potatoes that I'm trying to get some slips on. I actually found a uh, sweet potato that I tried to start as a slip last year but didn't ever do anything with it. And the little vine had uh, survived on that wrinkled old sweet potato all over the window or all over the w winter. And now it is in um, a glass and water uh, and some sun growing roots <laughs> couldn't believe it I've got a couple of zucchinis up here just because I couldn't get to uh, my garden up before because of the rain and stuff and then this tomato I transplanted um, just the other day I tried to get some seeds and uh, for some Swiss chard and lemon balm and stuff but I think I did it on a day where it might be barren so don't know. Hold on. So right now, this is the status of the deal that reseeded itself. I saw some monarch butterfly caterpillars on here yesterday. Um, and I'm not going to pick them off. I'm going to um, just leave them on there and let them eat to their heart's content. I do have uh, butterfly weed this year growing. Um, here again is my huge uh, sage bush and my catnip and my wicking bed. I need to get in here and um, figure out some way to stake up these uh, cherry tomatoes because they're they're starting to take over. And then um, I did transplant one tomato from uh, here up into that front bed and some of my pepper plants right now they are still in the shade as the summer goes on this will get warmer and warmer but they still will get shade which will help them uh, later on there's some more and tons and tons of basil and then some of my carrots Okay, I'm going to stand up here a little bit, try to get in the shade. I'm up in what I consider 
my main garden and right now I'm standing in some asparagus that bolted in March um, but I have some asparagus that was deposited on the sides but yesterday this thing was covered in there's some like old uh, tree roots and stuff that we haven't got dug out yet and stuff um, but they were sprouting up and just tall everything everything um, but the areas that I had for the garden last year I actually cleaned out I've got a little bit more over here and then that last year was a, a huge mound of um, zinnias from where I'd thrown spent plants the year before I do have a few coming up down here but um, I was out here trying to clean a lot of this up um, I mean it's not perfect yet but today I've got to be able to get some stuff in the ground because my window of planting is rapidly closing because it's going to be in the 80s here today anyway I do have some zinnias coming up which is good <sighs> there's one cosmos that replanted itself I gotta get, dig up this grass but um, I was out here digging up some of that crap, whatever it is, and my husband was nice enough to come out here and help uh, get this done. Um, uh, we've got a new tractor, but it's I, I can't get it in here right now with the way our fencing is and everything. But today, it is my thoughts that I will have some sweet corn, some popcorn, <laughs> and uh, baby corns, okra, um, at least planted I don't know what else I may try to drop some seed in for some melons I do have a couple of small zucchini starts I can drop in um, but it's just trying to get it in so far that's the progress for this week why it doesn't look like much to me it's a mountain until next week I'll talk to you later bye